Primary aldosteronism happens when the adrenal glands produce too much aldosterone. If both glands are affected, then medication will be needed to treat this condition. But if only one gland is affected, keyhole surgery to remove it cures the condition. So how do we know which side is abnormal? First, a CT scan is done. This is an X-ray which takes photos of the inside of your body. This can show growths in your gland. However, some growth are too small to be seen. While some large growth which are seen may not be the cause of the problem. So CT scans can be wrong almost half the time. Adrenal vein sampling or AVS is recommended for almost all patients. AVS requires your doctor to put a wire through a large vein in your leg using X-ray to guide this. Blood samples will be taken from both glands and done under LA. However, sampling from these tiny veins in your body can be difficult and may also fail. Finally, a new test called PET-CT scan may also help to identify the site of problem. A dye that contains X-ray is injected into your vein. This dye then goes into the abnormal gland and lights up the area. With a CT scan done at the same time, this will tell your doctor where the problem lies. Fancy, eh? PET CT is currently done as a research test and is not recommended yet as standard of care. So, finding out if only one of your glands or both are affected is important. And these tests are useful. CT scans are easy to do but can be wrong as much as 50% of the time. AVS is recommended but this is invasive and may also fail. PET CT scan is a new scan this is currently only available in research studies. 